Hi, it's David with Polygonia. In this quick video, we'll take a look at the different frame options available for your designs. So far, we've seen the square and the hexagon, and now we'll take a quick look at pentagon, octagon, 12-sided, even 36-sided frames, as well as a diamond shape, isosceles triangle, and something called the Norman window. When we're done, we will uh, have a shape like this, which is a 12-sided 12, 12 uh, frame. And we've just, this is basically the same design we started with in the first tutorial, but we've added a few more lines to add, to add detail to the design. In the previous video, we selected a hexagon frame, but let's take a look at the other ones that are available. The first thing I'm going to do here, because I like the design I'm looking at, is make a copy, but I'm going to play around. I don't really expect to keep the copy I make, so as I move up to the copy design, I see option click will make a standalone design that's not included in the project. So I'm going to hold option, click on that, and it simply says design copy up here, and down below it says standalone design. If you notice, you put your mouse in this little panel, it's, it's, it's highlighting. I can actually click on that and get some more information about what I have. In this case, this design is a standalone design. I have a, nothing in a workbook, which uh, I have 56 designs in the project and then I have three projects altogether. Click on this again, it goes to this tiny little tab and then this back around the third time, go back to the original, showing that it's a standalone design. Standalone designs are not saved anywhere unless you save them. They just are sitting there in uh, in your editor. The uh, let's see. So I am going to actually. I want to since I made a copy, it, it made it full the full size of my my design view, my render view. So I'm going to zoom out, and but to do that, I have to hold down the the command key, or I think it's the Windows key in Windows. Um, that's just to prevent me. From doing it accidentally. Now, so I've zoomed out, get this my design in the center. I'm going to make the radius a little larger here so we can see what that looks like. That's all pretty cool. Um, and again, we were looking at rotation. You can just you can either use the arrows here or simply type in a number five, forty-five, whatever you like. It all depends. On, it's all to you. You can, so we want to look at the different shapes. So we have hexagon, um, you got all the basic shapes, pentagon, triangle, there's a pentagon, equilateral triangles, uh, octagon, that's cool. Uh, then we have 12 sided, 12 sided is nice because it's a multiple of six. And so we, we have the edges that, that line up with our design in different ways. And then close to a circle, we have these 36 edges, which we're getting, which I added to have what looks almost like a circle, but still everything's a straight, a straight edge, a straight line. Now we have this Norman window, which is basically a square with a circle on top. We'll kind of change the rotation back to zero. And I'm going to click on the zoom icon over here to get everything, get everything back in my view. And that's just a nice option for, for various panels you might want to use as doors or whatever, however it speaks to you. We also have these others. A diamond is a diamond. Um, the, what you can do with a diamond, let's see if we can change the height. So we're making it a little smaller. But what's also what you could do, you have this aspect ratio here. So we can say, oh, I've always wanted to have these proportions. Click on the lock button, and now as I change one, the other changes. So it keeps the overall shape and expands it in both directions. That's very nice if you if you like the proportions you have. It works for anything with both the width and the height, so the rectangles, um, diamonds, and also the yeah, isosceles triangle. So it's keeping the same proportions because it because I have the aspect ratio locked. If I if I turn that off, then I can change these independently. And finally, there's the single tile, which just gives you one tile which matches the one tile in your editor. That's nice if you are working on a mandala type 
design, snowflake, something where you have a lot of detail and you only want a single tile. You, you like the symmetry, but you don't need the, the, the tiling. Um, so these are, these are all the different frame shape options we have right now. I'm always interested in hearing if there are other ones you would like to see. Um, please leave a comment. Uh, I'm going to go back to 12-sided because I like that one. Okay, now, so one last thing. This is a standalone design. It says it's edited. We haven't saved it. If I close the browser, it's gone. <clears throat> to save a standalone design into your project, you simply click Copy. And now it's a project design, and in a moment, it'll be, it'll be saved to the cloud. Now that I'm sitting here, I am going to make a few more changes, see what these look like. So that looks pretty, that's interesting, that looks like fun. So we'll leave that there. And in a moment, this, this will just will up, upload itself. Also, if you ever click on any other design, it, it saves it then too.